My name is Dale Kerrigan, and this is my story. Hello, today me, myself, Leonine, and Fletcher will be analysing and deconstructing the 1997 low-budget film The Castle. Directed by Polo Stitch, the Australian classic centres itself around a working-class family living in a small, humble house, referred to as The Castle, located next to a large airport. The Kerrigan family, who am I? Extremely proud and happy, I acknowledge with the fact that their home slash land is at risk through government authority, through the eviction of AIG, a large government organisation, through the extension of the airport, causing main protagonist Dale Kerrigan, played by Michael Keaton, and his unprofessional attorney, Dennis DeNuto, played by Trial Mora, to take action for the flight of their lives. Consists of comedic effects and well paced drama through the narration of actor Stephen Curry playing Dale Kerrigan. The action that we have chosen to deconstruct, showcasing the castle's key commands plus concepts, is discuss how a film you have studied reveals social issues associated with its context. Key concepts include how, social issues, and context. The how is the purpose of identifying particular techniques plus conventions that shape our understanding of the film. For example, film conventions through SWAT codes plus characterization through sale. Social issues being the problem that affects a large majority of people within present day society, often including a consequence beyond our control. We have chosen indigenous land rights, social class slash groups and power imbalance. Context being something that shapes our thoughts and meaning by associating our, our, our ideologies as well as behavior. For example, creation of mood, for audience through setting and time. To start off our essay, we're going to start with a wow statement. Australian working class families value the importance of egalitarianism and are not seen to have a sophisticated level of knowledge on specific social issues. This idea is challenged in the movie The Castle. First of all, we're going to introduce the text and state Daryl Kerrigan is the protagonist. His son, Dale Kerrigan, is the narrator and the film comes from his perspective. It's released in 1997 and directed by Rob Sitch. Then we're going to state the plot. We're going to state the Kerrigans are living in a humble and contented life in a working class suburb in Sydney. The company Airlink wishes to evict them due to a future airport expansion project. Daryl Kerrigan then challenges the eviction at the administrative tribunal and loses. Daryl then tries at the federal court and loses again. Daryl then finally successfully wins the case at the High Court with the Queen's Council and the help of Lawrence Hamill. Our thesis statement is going to be the specific social issues of Indigenous land rights, social groups and power imbalance are portrayed in the film The Castle, are represented through language features, SWAT codes and filmic conventions. You're starting to understand how the Aborigines feel. This house is like their land. Marbo, that's your classic case of big business trying to take land, and they couldn't. To start off our first body paragraph, we're going to start with a topic sentence. The social issue of Indigenous land rights is one of the castle's dominant allegories. Our first piece of evidence is the quote, I'm really starting to understand how the Aborigines feel. This house is like their land. This quote allows the audience to sympathise and bring awareness towards this issue. Our second piece of evidence is Marlo. That's your classic case of big business trying to take land, and they couldn't. This case study also brings sympathy towards the Kerrigans and Indigenous land rights. The close proximity of this case study and the film's release date also allows the audience to sympathise with this issue. Our final linking sentence will be, The film The Castle therefore uses language features of similes and the filmic convention of allegories to achieve a successful representation of the social issue of Indigenous land rights within the film. The social issue of Indigenous land rights is one of the castle's dominant allegories. The context of the movie is situated around this main idea of Indigenous land rights. Yet this idea of Indigenous land rights is not heavily mentioned throughout the film, yet it shows many symbolic aspects of the social issue that an alternative audience can acknowledge. The first sympathetic view on Indigenous land rights occurs when Daryl is expressing to his wife his sympathetic views on Indigenous land rights after he and his family were put in a similar situation as many Indigenous Australians are in. Daryl states, I'm really starting to understand how the Aborigines feel. This house is like their land. The dialogue contains a simile, this house is like their land, which allows the audience to sympathise with the Kerrigans as well as bring a sense of awareness to the social issue of Indigenous land rights. 
The social issues then later expressed in the greatest state through the use of a case study. As Daryl and Dennis are in the federal court, Dennis brings up the case of Eddie Marbo and states Marbo, that's your classic case of a big, big business trying to take land and they couldn't. The audience of the film's era can gain a deeper understanding of the case study due to a close proximity of the case and the film's release date. This could further induce a sympathetic view on the social issue of Indigenous land rights. The film The Castle therefore uses the language feature of similes and the filmic convention of allegories to achieve a successful representation of the social issue of Indigenous land rights within the film. Sponge cake. Beautiful. Why would you want to go out to a restaurant when this keeps coming up night after night? He needed a degree what? for that. Yes, yes. He's got a couple, actually. Diploma certificate, fully qualified hairdresser. To start off our second body paragraph, we're going to start with a topic sentence. Social groups in the castle are represented highly contrast from each other and involve significant exaggeration. Our first piece of evidence is sponge cake. Why would you not want to go out to a restaurant when this keeps coming out every night? This quote shows the importance of family, which is typical to a working class family in that era. It shows they value simplicity. Our second quote is, you need a degree for that. Yes, he's got a couple actually. I've got a daughter, diploma certificate, fully qualified hairdresser. This shows class contrast, a posh accent and the son's degree gives the impression that Lawrence is an upper class person. Comparing a TAFE diploma with a university degree shows Daryl is unaware of the difference and leads a simple working class life and values simplicity. A linking sentence is the castle uses tone and dialogue to portray specific social groups throughout the film. Even though they had five times more lawyers than we did. What else are we guilty of? International war crime? Hmm? It's easier to knock down people's houses than it is to fill in a hole. Get off my property or I'll call the police. Now we approach our third body paragraph. The topic sentence would be, power balance in the castle is represented by the dominant view from other inequalities presented in the film. Even though... So now we're going to body paragraph three. Topic sentence. Power imbalance in the castle is represented by the dominant view from the others through inequalities presented in the film. Our evidence for this is, even though they had five more lawyers than we did, what else are we guilty of? International war crimes? This quote showcases the powers from their overruling of speech. Also, their sense of sarcasm exposes ex exposure of more dominant speech over their opponent. The second clip also shows it's easier to knock on people's houses than to fill up a hole. Get off my property or I will call the police. This represents the imbalance of contact to ensure power and power in the owner's possession. Also, his power maturity through threatening to call the police. Linking. The castle uses character construction through Sayer to adjust and highlight the power imbalance to showcase the inequality. To conclude our essay, we're going to state, the social issues of Indigenous land rights, social groups and power imbalance are represented in the film The Castle through the use of language features, spot codes and filmic conventions. Indigenous rights is the underlying allegory for this film. The Kerrigans are heavily portrayed as a humble working class family that seem content with that fact. There is a clear power imbalance throughout the film as the family is battling with a large organisation.